Hello and welcome to my workshop. So we're going to be getting back on the Dodge Coronet. And again, this is going to be a 1 8 scale uh, drag car body. It's going to have a flip forward hood. And uh, we just need to get some of the final details and get this thing finished up. All right, so let's get started. So when I make these bodies, I usually try to get things like the door openings uh, cut in later. It just has a more clean line and looks more realistic. So here I'm marking this up, getting ready to uh, have a scribe tool to uh, cut the openings for the door. So where possible, I use a, uh, a ruler to get a nice straight edge, and this gives the first couple passes. And then once you get a good channel, you can come back through uh, pretty quickly and make it a little deeper. But on the rounded stuff, you just have to do that by hand. And it's easy to take the uh, edge of the scribe tool and just start to scratch a little small line. And once you get that little small line started, you can kind of very carefully, slowly come back and just make it deeper and deeper and deeper until eventually you have a, a nice curved line. So uh, doing the same thing, uh, basically making a fuel door for the rear. So when I uh, made this mold the first time, um, I didn't quite get some of the pieces just right. So I'm just coming back in here and uh, filling those in and uh, come back sanding it down and getting some of the details knocked out. The way the process I follow is just to uh, get the basic structure in there first, start to fill in some of the really, really bad areas, uh, get those sanded back, put some primer on it. And as you go through, just kind of slowly work your way into getting this thing more and more smooth and, and some of the imperfections worked out and then the very last step is to come back and get all those done um, with some finer grit sandpaper and then a good good coat of primer on So I'd made the uh, firewall earlier and I just wanted to add a little bit of a visual interest to this. So um, I'm just basically making a spot where uh, some kind of a piece was indented into the firewall. So I cut the um, plastic um, most of the way around and then bent it in, glue it back, um, recess a little bit, fill that in, drilling some holes and adding in some of uh, these little scale um, nuts that are basically resin, resin cast and uh, just super gluing those in and um, you know, adding some visual details to make it look a little more interesting. Just give me a quick coat of black paint to uh, get it prepped up for the uh, chrome later on. Okay, so I'm uh, making some pretty good progress, getting some of the little final details uh, on this car and uh, getting it ready. The uh, firewall uh, added some details, some nuts, uh, different pieces here and there to kind of give it the visual interest of the uh, firewall. Uh, did uh, quite a bit of sanding around here. Uh, got some of the um, some of the transitions correct, did some sanding on the uh, roof and, and the, the A-pillar. Uh, still a lot of this has come back and do more work on, but you know, it's starting to get close. I've also cut in the doors. And I did that on both sides. I uh, did that with Tamiya's scribe tool. And as well, cut in the, uh, in the back for the uh, fuel door. So um, I still have a little bit more to do on the body, but um, I think it's getting pretty close. So I also painted the uh, both pieces that make up the grill black. And so what I'm going to end up doing is taking um, thin tape 
and putting it in between each one of these little pieces and that'll leave the recess part black I'll paint the top chrome pull all the tape off and like I said you know the black would remain in between so it'll give that look of the uh, the grill and give it a little more visual, visual interest instead of just having this be solid chrome and then this will also be painted chrome as well now I have um, I think the next thing to work on uh, is getting some of the uh, lettering the Dodge on the hood I think Coronet on the rear maybe an RT badge for this and uh, just a, and then also the uh, the cowl on the front getting the uh, the louvers cut and I'm gonna do that on my Cricut machine so uh, let's get started and uh, see if I can do some other couple other things while I'm uh, getting that finished So I had a, a friend, uh, actually a Make It RC channel, familiar with him, help me out by drawing up this uh, this design and sending me the file so I could use um, on my Cricut machine. And basically what I'm doing is cutting out the louvers for the cow piece. So this is cut into about 10 or 15 thousandths thick uh, material. And what I end up doing is uh, gluing that on top of the existing cowl and then and then filling in the edge and smoothing it down and it'll give it that nice recess look like it's a uh, louvers You really only kind of get one shot at this. Uh, that really thin stuff, um, once you get the, the solvent glue on it, it sticks pretty quick and there's pretty much no getting it up. The thicker stuff has enough structure you can usually kind of manipulate that, that around, but I'm really just trying to make sure I get this as, as close as possible the first time. You can see how that really does give it the effect of having the louvers in there and, and just you can't beat the uh, you know the level of detail that a cricket machine can come out. There's no way I could cut those by hand. So I'm also going to be adding some uh, badging or lettering to the side. And so I'm taking that same cricket machine that I've you know drawn up some letters in and just going to mark out in pencil where those letters will go and I'll just carefully by hand glue the actual letters back in place. So along the front there was some uh, badging on the hood and that is a uh, you know spelled out dodge so doing the same thing for that as well as mentioned when I make these molds uh, sometimes you don't get it right the first time and so there was a transition between the fender and the uh, door or cow piece at that, that, that section right by the bottom of the A-pillar it just wasn't quite perfect so I had to work on that uh, get that um, raised up and get added some material and uh, get that sanded back and, and also just uh, feathering in that um, you know thinner styrene piece that I glued on top just to make it look like it's one piece. So I made a little more progress uh, getting closer to uh, getting this uh, coronet all finished up. Uh, some of the stuff that doing now is kind of small fun stuff it doesn't take a lot of time it really does add that uh, bit of detail that just really makes it pop uh, so a couple of things I've done is add in some um, badging so it may be kind of hard to see because it's all one color now but across the hood is a uh, you know raised letters dodge and you move up here you'll see where I've made this uh, out of styrene it's 15 thousand thick styrene cut with a Cricut machine it's a uh, goes over the cowl. And I still have a couple spots to, to blend it in. 
um, but it's pretty close um, to what it's going to be. And so on the uh, back side, let me take this off so I can actually fit it on my workbench. And the uh, cornet badging on the back, uh, right below the gas uh, door. And uh, you know, just kind of went through the the whole body, um, looked for some spots that needed a little bit of attention, uh, put some filler in there, sanded it, added some primer. Um, I'm still gonna have to go back probably two or three more passes of looking for spots, sanding, uh, getting scratch marks out. You know, there's a lot of uh, process of sanding and priming and sanding and priming, doing some filling in between where necessary, but it's getting close. So um, I still have to finish up the grill and get those painted chrome, but I'm going to wait to do that last. And then I think the next thing I'll work on is getting a uh, form made for the uh, windshield. All right, so let's get to that. So the idea here was to make a uh, form that I could use um, to, to make the window. So I, the problem is like the machine I have to do the vacuum form is a, you know, it's a 12 inches wide, about 20 so inches long. And a sheet of the clear plastic is pretty expensive. So I didn't want to waste the whole sheet just to make this one. So I had an idea that I could take a piece of plastic, tape it down to this mold and then take styrene sheets, which is a lot cheaper, and also, also make some additional parts, and then vacuum form that on top. It kind of worked, but in the end, I was probably able just to bend that by hand to get the detail I was looking for there, but something I might keep in mind to try again later. So here just uh, cutting some um, vent windows uh, out of that clear plastic. So this car will have a windshield, the vent windows, and the, uh, the rear window, and then the side glass will be like it's, it's rolled down. So, you know, making um, a, a template for the uh, window just with the uh, tape. And then you come back with, like I said, styrene is really cheap. So I just make it out of some thin styrene and make sure the, the shape fits the way I want to. And then I can transfer that over to, you know, a similar thickness plastic. So I know that it, it'll, it should fit well. So I slowly uh, just taking things off the list and getting it uh, closer and closer to being finished. Uh, pretty much every time I'm doing a step, I'm finding some little issues here and there. Putting in some Tamiya filler, uh, getting that sanded down, get a little you know spot prime. And I can see uh, if I need any more, and just kind of continuing on. Um, the windows are pretty well done. I think everything I need to have done is there. So I have the front glass that'll go in the one for the rear, that big old one for the rear, these two little vents on the side, and then I'm going to leave this area open so the window would be down. Uh, I think the next thing I need to start focusing on is getting the rear section finished up. 
So I'm going to spend a lot of time getting this uh, sanded down and, and looking good before I start adding in the details around where the uh, tail lights go in, building the tail lights, and uh, any other details I need to get on here. So, all right, let's uh, let's get to that. So with uh, most of the other work complete, now I'm going to switch up to uh, try to finish up the uh, rear end. And so um, you, you put this piece in solid all the way across, but actually the, the trunk is way smaller. So I'm, I'm cutting the lines in for the trunk and getting those down. It's a couple different rear ends for this car. Uh, one has the slats going uh, from top to bottom. The other ones have different badges on the hood, and and so I was, you know, I chose one that had a um, a chrome piece that went across the hood that had the uh, Dodge lettering in there, with uh, just some tail lights on each each end. So basically, what I'm doing is taking a piece of thin styrene and some, um, I believe it was either half round or quarter round. I can't remember. And basically make like a picture frame around that that piece to give it that look of that uh, chrome piece and then I'll come in and add the lettering to that and then that'll just be chromed and then glued on to the uh, to the rear end once that once the car is painted Yeah, so carefully uh, cutting out these really small, tiny letters and getting those things uh, placed and uh, glued in, in uh, on this uh, back panel. So kind of the, one of the final uh, big hurdles to get across was uh, getting this uh, grill finished up. So I've, I've done all the work of adding the slats. Uh, now I've painted it black and I mentioned that's going to be for chrome later. So you get the best effect with a really shiny black paint and then to place the chrome on top. But what I wanted to have is a look of, of black in between each chrome slat. So I have some one millimeter tape and I'm adding that in between each slat and getting that uh, kind of burnished in place with that tool. And then the idea is you paint the chrome on and then you pull the tape off and you'll have a nice, nice look, uh, pretty realistic to what the uh, actual grill looks like. I used the Molotow ink in a uh, airbrush and uh, so I just kind of wanted to go a little light at first but to really get this thing to start to shine you had to put on heavy so once I got the the first little coat on I went back and uh, put a, a heavier coat on okay so I'm getting uh, really close to finishing up this uh, Dodge Coronet and I'm really happy with how this is turning out so I ended up getting the uh, front grill complete and uh, I have this this chromed and you know, end up with these little black uh, stripes in here which um, are for one millimeter tape and then it, um, that's in between each slat and then you come back over the chrome and you peel each one of those little pieces of uh, tape off and you give you that effect uh, which is pretty similar to the uh, the real Coronet grill so uh, that's that's pretty well complete uh, done some you know touch-up work on the uh, where the this whole front clip uh, meets up with the body uh, kind of just done some general cleanup here and there around the body is still a couple little things I got to take care of but it's getting pretty close to that as well and in the rear I have this little piece that I made uh, for the trunk 
Now this is just temporarily uh, tacked on uh, with some uh, double-sided tape just to, uh, you know, hold it in place for looks. But uh, eventually, you know, I'll pull this back off. That way the owner can paint the body and then glue that piece on and it's just make it easier to tape around it. So the last two things I have to get uh, besides kind of general cleanup of any scratches or, or issues are the uh, tail lights and the door handles. All right, so let's get to that. So it's always the small little details that really help sell these cars. And, and so one of the one things that is the door handle. And so I wanted to get a nice uh, door handle that matched. So what I ended up taking is just some styrene strips and uh, with the Dremel tool and uh, sanders and a razor knife and files and just pretty much whatever I can get. I'm uh, slowly getting that shape down correct and uh, carving uh, you know, two door handles. So if you're working on really small parts like this, it, this little hand vise is really just is hard to beat. It uh, has the wooden handle turns and the, the jaws open up, not not very wide, but you know wide enough for most smaller parts. And you can really get it to clamp tightly on there, and uh, you can hold that part in different orientations to really get in there and, and make some pretty exacting um, small parts. So one of the hardest things about making things like door handles is not just you have to make the first one because you can make the first one and it looks good and it, it'll it'll pass as, as you know as a, as a nice door handle and it'll look really good but to making the second one to look like the first one that's the real challenge. Just really quickly uh, gluing these on with some solvent and adding in some uh, little round pieces that uh, to represent where the door lock will be. So I've been doing a lot of the taillights uh, 3D printed and I've been getting uh, Pushrod 3D to do those for me. You know the custom design work and the 3D printing. But I, wanted, I, I figured I could make these pretty simple with some existing plastic I had. They're actually uh, headlights out of an RC four-wheel drive kit. And I was able to um, you know, kind of get the, the shape right. And it's got the, the outside curve the way I wanted. And I just ended up cutting those down. And then I'll, I'll take some uh, plastic polish after I successfully um, sanded down with, you know, with the finer and finer grits of sandpaper until I ended up with the plastic polish to kind of make them look the part. And then it's just simple of uh, you know painting them red with a uh, automotive tail light paint and uh, they really do look the part. Yeah, so here's me just carefully uh, cutting down that plastic and I uh, just use basically uh, some tape to get the shape and you know just tape it right on the, uh, the plastic and then you can start uh, whittling that thing down to the right shape. All right, all finished up with the Dodge Cornette build and could not be happier with the way this thing's turned out. Uh, a little bit bigger uh, scale than what I'm usually doing and uh, it, it added a little bit more complexity 
and a little more of a challenge, but it was a lot of fun to get done. In the front, we have you know the chrome grill, uh, Dodge uh, lettering, uh, and the for the badging right there on the on the hood. The uh, hood is I guess grill all is one piece. It's going to be flipped forward, and that's going to uh, expose a not overly detailed but somewhat detailed firewall. And uh, this is held on with magnets. So uh, you know a lot of the, the detail going down the side, and I put in the. Um, door handle with a little key lock again some more badging on the rear coronet and then finally the uh, rear end with the uh, the tail lights and this uh, little trunk piece that I, I chromed out as well so this is going to be a drag car I'm not really sure what platform he's going to use probably something custom but I think it's going to look turn out really really good and I cannot wait to see this thing complete I got a lot of lot of projects coming up, a lot of really cool stuff. Uh, can't wait to get to that. But until then, we'll see you in the rocks.